If I told you you could be a ping pong champ without ever picking up a ping pong paddle, would you tell me I was crazy? Ping pong recording, or ping ponging, is a method of bouncing down multiple tracks on a four track to a single track in order to free up additional tracks for recording. The process is simple. On tracks one through three, record whatever you want. Leave track four empty as it will be the destination for the bounce or mix down. In order to ping pong, you need at least one empty track on your machine. On channels one through three, set the channel switch to tape. Pan all tracks to the right. By doing this, you're bussing these tracks to track four. Put the faders at a good level, such as seven to eight. Put the master fader at a good level, such as seven to eight as well. Set the monitor select line out switch to mono. Set the record function switch of track four to bus R. The record indicator will start blinking and the track is armed and ready to go. Press play. Listen to your mix of tracks one through three and make any necessary fader or EQ adjustments. Make sure your mix is where you want it to be. Make sure the level of track four is where you want it. If it sounds good, it is good. Hit record and play at the same time. The track four light will now turn solid, indicating that you're recording tracks one to three to track four. You'll hear this mix in the headphones. Congrats, friend. You're ping ponging. Once the recording is done, hit stop. Set the record function switch to safe so you don't accidentally record over what you just ping ponged. Now that you just ping pong tracks one to three onto track four, you can take a deep breath and record over tracks one to three when you're ready. Pro tip. If you want to raise the stakes, you can also record an additional track while your three tracks are bouncing to track four. This is Mike from 424recording.com. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, you nerd. Godspeed, my friends.